uh, I just want to show you again a couple of uh, situations where you would be finding the unknown in the dimensions of a trapezoid. Okay? So here we have the first trapezoid, and we know one side 13 centimeters, we know another side 17 centimeters, and we've also been told the area, which is 210 centimeters squared. The thing that we don't know here is the height. Okay? So we're going to go back to that concept that we talked about earlier about um, that Alexandra mentioned, where um, a trapezoid can turn into a parallelogram. Okay? So for example, in this situation, if I took that trapezoid and, and, and duplicated it and flipped it over, I would, I would then get a parallelogram. And that would mean that, it, that one side is now 17 plus 13, which is 30 centimeters. The other side, the same. Okay? And we still don't know the height. But in this situation, we know that because we doubled it, we would have to turn 210 centimeters into 420 centimeters squared. Okay? So now that we know that, we also know that to figure out the area of a parallelogram is base times height. So now we're just asking ourselves, what do you times 30 by to get 420? Okay? You can do this through trial and error. You can do this many, many different ways. Okay? But if we do, let's say, for example, you say to yourself, 30 times 10. No, that doesn't work. That's 300. 30 times 11. Does that work? Okay? You keep going over it and over it and over it. Okay? You may eventually find that you might have to divide it. Okay? So can somebody do that on the calculator for me? Anna? Yeah. yeah. So 42 divided by 30? 40, 420 divided by 30? Divided by 30. 14, right? So now we know that because when we find out the area of a parallelogram, it's base times height, 30 times 14 is 420, which means because the height did not change here, this height is obviously the same thing as well. And now let's just test it out using the formula that Zinedine brought up before, which was 17 plus 13 okay, times the height, which is 14, divided by 2. Okay, so 17 plus 13 is 30. Okay, times 14 is 420. Divided by 2 is 210. Therefore, the height that we did not know is 14 centimeters. All right? Now we're going to go on to another one here. This time we know the height. We know the base. We just don't know the other side. And we can take a similar approach. Okay? So we know, for example, that um, we know the height this time. So if we look at that formula again, which was side A plus side B, okay, times the height divided by 2 equals the area. Okay? So in this case, we don't know side A, but we do know side B, which is 14. We do know the height, okay? and we do know that we still divide it by 2, and we get 110. Okay? So now we have to ask ourselves, what do you add to 14 to make this whole thing work? So maybe you might do it through trial and error again, like some people have done. 10 plus 14, 24. Okay? Somebody help me out with the camera, uh, with the calculator again? Yeah? So try that. 10 plus 14. Often do that just by estimating. 24 times 11. Yeah? 24 times 11. Got it? Divide, Janice, are you, are you got a faster calculator there? 24 times 11 divided by 2 equals what? Way too much, right? So now we know that, okay, we made a guess, it was 10, we need to go less than that. Okay? We need to go far less than that. So, Janice, how about a guess? Five. So if we do 5 times 14, do it. 5 times 14 70. times 11 yeah. divided by 2. 104. 104. We're close now. So for 104 something, maybe we go to 6 now. 
So this is where estimating really comes into play too. So plug in 6 plus 14 times 11, 110. So we know that 6 works. So we know that this is probably 6 now. Okay? But we can test it out. Again, 6 plus 14 is 20 times 11 is 220. Divided by 2 is 110. We know it works. We know it works. We know it works. The mystery side was 6 centimeters. Okay? I hope that helps. Thanks.